Hey there, everybody. It's Pastor Jason. Got our daily devotional, Revelation 19. We're drawing in on the end. Let me pray and we'll jump into it. <clears throat> Father, thank you so much for your love and kindness in our lives. You are victorious, Father. You were then, you are now, and you will be when you come again. We just thank you and praise you for all the ways you are helping us to be victorious in our lives as well. We submit everything to you, Father, in your name. Amen. Here we go. Revelation 19, verse 1. After this, I heard something like a loud voice of a vast multitude in heaven saying, Hallelujah, salvation, glory, and power belong to our God because his judgments are true and righteous, because he has judged the notorious prostitute who corrupted the earth with her sexual immorality, and he has avenged the blood of his slaves that was on her hands. A second time they said, Hallelujah, her smoke ascends forever and ever. Then the 24 elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshiped God, who is seated on the throne, saying, Amen, Hallelujah. A voice came from the throne saying, Praise our God, all his slaves who fear him, both small and great. And then I heard something like, the voice of a vast multitude, like the sound of cascading waters, and like the rumbling of loud thunder, saying, Hallelujah, because our Lord God, the Almighty, has begun to reign. Let us be glad, rejoice, and give him glory, because the marriage of the Lamb has come, and his wife has prepared herself. She was given fine linen to wear, bright and pure, for the fine linen represents the righteous acts of the saints. <clears throat> then he said to me, Write, those invited to the marriage feast of the Lamb are fortunate. He also said to me, These words of God are true. Then I fell at his feet to worship him, but he said to me, Don't do that. I am a fellow slave with you and your brothers who have the testimony about Jesus. Worship God, because the testimony about Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Then I saw heaven opened, and there was a white horse. Its rider is called Faithful and True, and he judges and makes war in righteousness. His eyes were like a fiery flame, and many crowns were on his head. He had the name written that no one knows except himself. He wore a robe stained with blood, and his name is the Word of God. The armies that are that were in heaven followed him on white horses, wearing pure white linen. A sharp sword came from his mouth so that he might strike the nations with it. He will shepherd them with an iron scepter. He will also trample the winepress of the fierce anger of God, the Almighty. And he has a name written on his robe and on his thigh, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Then I saw an angel standing on the sun, and he cried out in a loud voice, saying to all the birds flying high overhead, Come, gather together for the great supper of God, so that you may eat the flesh of kings and the flesh of commanders and the flesh of mighty men and the flesh of horses and their riders and the flesh of everyone, both free and slave, small and great. Then I saw the beast, the kings of the earth, and their armies gathered together to wage war against the rider on the horse and against his army, but the beast was taken prisoner, and along with him the false prophet who had performed the signs in his presence, and he deceived those who accepted the mark of the beast and those who worshipped his image with these signs. Both of them were thrown alive into the lake of fire that burns with sulfur. The rest were killed with the sword that came from the mouth of the rider on the horse, and all the birds were filled with their flesh. Chapter 19, the glorious return of Christ, how he wins the war and begins to usher things in. I would comment just quickly, did you notice how righteous he is in all of that? He is righteous in all of it. The word proclaims his actions as righteous and, ju and just. Another thing I would say to you, are you praising him today? Are you praising him for the victories that you've had in your life and the victories that you can praise him for in the future that you know are coming? 
Do you honor the Lord with everything you say and do? May we be uh, part of the fine linen that is given out. May we have righteous acts that help adorn the saints. May we continue to act as heirs with Christ, holy and pure. May we remember that he is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords, and that he will return and he will be victorious. I hope 19 has been a blessing to you. Go on out and be a blessing to those around you. I'll see you tomorrow with chapter 20. We might do 21 as well tomorrow and just wrap up Revelation this week. Have a great afternoon. See you tomorrow.